so good afternoon everyone uh, so good afternoon everyone uh, on behalf of uh, department of civil engineering student college of engineering uh, welcome uh, welcome you all to this webinar on scope and opportunities in civil engineering so come up with mr s g uh, kumar ceo and founder of uh, construction management training institute bangalore and uh, i welcome all other participants who gathered here today so i request uh, vivedita third year student department of civil engineering apc to present the sorry uh, to introduce the speaker yes sir Vivedita. very good evening to one and all present here it gives me immense warmth to grace all of your presence in the interest of the entire department it's my pleasure to walk you through the event introduce you to the speaker who have come here to share his knowledge and enhance our mental horizon thank you all for joining us this evening for this webinar conducted by the civil department of svc in association with the construction management training institute and the indian concrete institute on scope and opportunities in civil engineering i request you all to take up this opportunity to gain knowledge i am profoundly delighted to take an opportunity to introduce the chief guest of the evening engineer s g ashok kumar He is a professional engineer certified certified by the Engineering Council of India and trainer for budding civil engineers trained nearly 10000 plus civil engineers on practical aspects of construction management and signed MOU with leading engineering colleges across India He worked as a planning manager in LNT Limited for 8 years and in Patel Reality Indian Limited for a year He also has experience as an executive engineer at the Priyojana Engineering Service for about 3 years He is the co-founder of Priyojana Construction Management Training Institute, at which he was executive director for almost four years. At present, he is a member in IGPC Educational National Level, helping the institution for green buildings awareness education, guiding students on green building academic projects, organizing green building visits. He is also the founder and chief education officer of Construction Management Training Institute (CMTI) and also a volunteer in IBIMA. so without consuming much more time i would like to call upon engineer sg ashok kumar to enlighten us with his words thank you vivedita and uh, thank you for svac for inviting me for this program am i audible yes sir yes sir okay okay uh, most of the students are uh, second year i think a uh, third year and a uh, final year na no? yes sir yes sir okay fine not an issue uh, so we will be having a session of one hour in this i will be explaining you about the opportunities available in the civil engineering and what are the pro major projects are happening and uh, what is the role and responsibilities companies are looking for and uh, some of the areas uh, companies i would like to suggest you also to look into to make some research and all and at the at the end of the program i am going to give some uh, online internships for the students also uh, so stay tuned till the end of the program i will be explaining the online internships and i will be giving you the coupon codes to avail it at a easier manner okay okay i will be sharing the screen are you able to see the screen yes sir yes sir yeah learning gives creativity creativity leads to thinking thinking provides knowledge knowledge makes you great this is the great words of dr apj abdul kala with this i would like to share my knowledge whatever uh, i have gained in past 25 years and how it helps you to gain some knowledge the uh, through this webinar definitely uh, what all the programs you are attending in the colleges and from through industrial experts all these things definitely will shape up your career in some terms so construction in india is a fastest growing and expanding market uh, this is the research done by various uh, Uh, institutions and after the agriculture everyone knows agriculture our country is of uh, mainly of agriculture country next to agriculture second employment is generated by the real estate and construction only so it is next to agriculture the company uh, the country is looking forward the growth of construction 
through in terms of uh, re uh, creating uh, urban infrastructure, creating a uh, real estate, all these things. So any time our uh, civil construction industry, there will be a evergreen requirement because uh, we are constructing the basic needs of the people. Without a house, you can say nobody can live without a water or electricity people can't survive so all these basic needs this is called infrastructure we are providing the infrastructure for the people uh, our country's population also increasing like anything nearly 130 crores so everyone needs a smart infrastructure and uh, they need a house water supply and then the power these three are major areas and the government is also pushing for the things uh, because economy, a lot of money is involved in this and uh, every, each and every politician speaks about infrastructure because they need my votes from the people for that they need to do the work. So mainly creating an infrastructure is the solution. For, it is beneficial for the engineers and as well as the public also. There is a wide opportunity available. Ours is a growing country. So if you see the contribution to the economy it's about 15 percent by 2030 and the largest employer in india by 2022 expected to employ more than 75 million of people and uh, this is the volumes you can understand and advantage india i already spoke we have robust demand and attractive opportunities available because a lot of infrastructure needs to be created whatever available that is not sufficient we have to develop in another uh, you can say whatever the available in terms of uh, railway lines or airports or highways whatever it may be all this infrastructure needs to be scaled up to twice means uh, example if, uh, whatever the construction happened till now it's need to be doubled in 10 years next 10 years that is the huge opportunity with us and uh, government is also spending uh, creating the policies like housing for all smart cities and then so many programs uh, government is running in different schemes so there is a policy support from the government also available and increasing the all the a lot of multinational companies they are coming into india and they are investing in india setting up a data centers setting up it offices setting up a, a so many things means projects, uh, power projects, so many things they are doing. So in upcoming slides, you can see, and this is the advantage for our country compared to any other country. Uh, we have a wonderful opportunities ahead in next upcoming next 10 years. There is a demand also. And what are the career options available with you is one is go broadly if you can classify. Uh, government jobs is there and uh, private jobs and uh, entrepreneurships in government jobs if you take a lot of uh, uh, places uh, where so many departments are there civil engineering is a vast domain it starts from irrigation engineering water supply and then uh, smart cities and then telecom and uh, highway infrastructure uh, railway infrastructure uh, so many things are there, even building construction, uh, canal construction. So many things are there in the government sector. And uh, there is a opportunity available in the state governments and in uh, central governments also. So it is a basic need. That's why government also is providing a lot of opportunities. And a lot of PSUs like... Uh, BPCL, IOCL, so many uh, public sector units also the providing opportunities. Gale, Gale is doing a tremendous job uh, having a, say, a pipeline connection to each and every household. Like this, so many agencies are there, PSU agencies, uh, public sector participation. And then the private, of course, you know very well, a lot of uh, private participation also is required. So uh, private jobs also available. And apart from this, we have a wonderful opportunity called entrepreneurship. So we can start our own contracting also. And you can become an entrepreneur also as a builder or a real estate developer or a contractor. So many opportunities are available. We will discuss in upcoming slides. Career after civil engineering. These are the few departments there in the civil engineering. You can see. Uh, project department, building, planning, uh, 
contract department these are purely office based work tendering and all and after then quality is there this is are the profiles for the entry level engineers and the various departments are available uh, we can broadly classify into design one side and other one is execution so design uh, uh, you can use the softwares to learn the design and as well as uh, you can do the higher education like pg degrees so that you can have a knowledge on structural engineering or highway engineering or geotechnical so that specialization helps you to get you into the design jobs if you are looking for execution jobs for that uh, so many departments are available you can take those uh, specialist departments like quantity survey and quality all these are execution related so broad classification is design and then the construction both are available for the engineers the private sector the type of recruiters will be like this uh, builders contractors mnc's consultants uh, consultant is nothing but a project management consultant who is supervising the work on behalf of the owner and cement and uh, steel manufacturer rmc you know everyone knows about ready mix plants these days uh, time is the essence of uh, construction so everyone is looking for uh, ready made things so a lot of uh, ready mix concrete plants are available even if you take large projects like uh, metro projects and this kind of highway construction bridge construction all these things uh, they are going for pre cast uh, construction you could have seen and recently uh, some of the housing projects also they have taken into pre cast somewhere it is produced and then shifted and then get placed and connected this is gaining momentum because so there is a time saving and quality and cost saving also if they are going for mass production then the cost is uh, coming down so precast industry also nowadays a lot of uh, people are engaged and the jobs will be like this the profiles will be site engineer you can become a project manager after some years of experience uh, planning engineer planning engineer is nothing but you have to do the works in a proper way you will be the guiding force for the project so for that little bit of analytical skills and software knowledge also required and sequence of construction all these things are required if you want to become a planning engineer i already spoke about structural engineering you need to do at least a pg to get into structural engineer job and estimator and evaluator also these days a lot of openings are coming up um, in, in, especially in the banking sector and evaluation if you are going for loans and all somebody has to evaluate the property or resale and all so valuation also very important uh, area where a lot of opportunities are coming up you can do your consulting work also as a evaluator or you can empanel in various banks and the agencies where they are providing the loans and all so yeah, that is a freelance job you can take it up and quality surveyor these days a drones also is playing a major role in surveying so drones uh, are you being used in the projects and uh, you can start your drone agency also apart from this uh, soil testing geotechnical engineer his uh, primary duty is to test the so i'll understanding the characters and uh, you can get into this profile also environmental and infrastructure that we already discussed and a uh, few higher points i am giving to you to understand how to get into the career how you can easily get into your career one is uh, you should understand about the requirements of uh, employer which industry you are going their employer requirements because uh, nowadays so the software and the methodology the construction new new materials are coming up and new technologies are coming up so understanding the requirements how the company is working what kind of project they are doing all these things if you understand easily you can get into the jobs it helps us to gain the job also and the proper cv you see what are the skill sets you are having please project it in your cv and uh, have a professional linkedin profile also that helps to get into the internships and uh, you can track some companies uh, which are the companies having the jobs projects 
and these days uh, companies are posting their uh, project updates also regularly in their uh, what are the major achievements they have done and uh, what is the future everything about the company all these things are shared in the linkedin profile so a lot of uh, companies are having their linkedin page you should as a student you should also have a linkedin profile and you track the companies construction companies uh, consultancy and the government pages and all so that you will get an immediate update and you should know how to search a job uh, means uh, if you are in the final year definitely this is uh, we are going to helpful a lot of companies are doing campus placements and off campus also they are doing especially for civil off campus with uh, minimum uh, two to three internships helps you to get into the job easily act has mandated a three internships to be done minimum by the students so you can also do your internship part time uh, during your breaks vacational breaks that helps you a lot because to you can get into the apart from theory you can get into the practical knowledge also that is going to help either virtual nowadays due to pandemic a lot of people are doing virtual internship and if it is available you can go for better is for offline internship you can go for project sites and learn something that is going to help you and you should be flexible enough to work uh, means uh, the major projects if you see in forthcoming slides you will understand how where the projects are happening the large projects if you want to gain knowledge of course it is going to happen uh, across cities across various places so you should be flexible enough to work these projects are time bound projects the works will be happening in the shift basis three shifts uh, uh these days uh, it is uh, earlier it used to we used to civil engineer used to work in the daytime only nowadays uh, if you take any metro construction any highway construction the private players are there they wanted to complete the work faster way so that the revenue will get generated that is the only objective and it uh, the facility also goes to the public for usage so in chennai also lot of underground metro construction uh, being uh, Uh, carried out by La Larson Chubro, Tata, and so many companies are there. And in across, you know, there are around 28 metros in India. The metro construction is happening. You can watch out their pages also, which are the companies are working. What are the uh, technologies they are using? So that uh, what are the machineries? You will get an idea about it. Marks not only criteria. The apart from this, other. parameters also they are looking for if you go for abroad for higher education also definitely your internships are going to help their letter of recommendation from various companies that will also suffice your uh, requirements so if you are going for abroad or going for job or going for uh, any any kind of a thing uh, for a higher uh, next level if you are taking up this internships and the other parameters means so your overall knowledge is going to help and whatever you are having the additional skill sets uh, you can uh, include in your cvs and you should have a cl clear clarity about your future plan up to certain age uh, the parents will guide you after then uh, you need to take a call which uh, whether you are good in design or good in execution or uh, you wanted to go for higher education or uh, you need to go for job after a few years you need to go for higher education everything you should have a plan during your engineering only don't waste the time For deciding the things after you are engineering, so ideal period is uh, before uh, at least in the third year or final year. Uh, if you are having a clear plan, whether I need to go for a government job or a private job or a education or entrepreneurship, have a plan with you that is going to help you a lot, and uh, because you can save the time and you can gain the experience wherever you are going. So yeah, these are the important points I want to stress to you. and if uh, time permits i will show you a case study done by one of the student from ss in chennai it's about a project you can say the see some few pictures and remarkable projects recently happened and now it is happening also few projects on this uh, you can uh, now india is uh, having a capacity to do the works in uh, international standards also you can see the tallest uh, statue we have done in india this is uh, done by lnt and it took uh, 57 months to complete in 15 months of planning and 40 months of execution yes of course what all the time committed they have completed the project so any scale we can handle that much capacity we are having in india 
these are the few futures available it is available in the internet also you can go and read the things spend some time for your education purpose and the major ongoing projects if you see uh, in india presently yeah, these are the projects that are happening one is a dedicated freight corridor it is happening mm, uh, between in the northern india between uh, delhi and mumbai and delhi and kolkata uh, and i will show you the map also national highways of course construction is happening if you see any every 60 kilometers there is a toll booth they are collecting the money a lot of private investment is coming up and uh, across india they are constructing the highways uh, to reduce the travel time even chennai bangalore expressway also is under construction it is going to reduce 70 kilometers of length and the travel time by i think i think uh, two hours of travel time they are going to reduce two hours to maybe 90 minutes and uh, Namami Gange, it's a clear environmental project where a lot of uh, effluent treatment plants are being constructed. And smart cities, you know, across India, a uh, lot of uh, works are happening in each and every smart city, water supply project, urban infrastructure, solar, so many sustainable related things. Uh, these projects are taken up and it is happening in, across the cities. And a high speed rail corridor, you could have heard about it. Uh, LNT has bagged this project and uh, nearly one lakh crores of investment is uh, uh, being invested give me one second one second actually uh, mr mohan is supposed to join he told he if time permits he will join he is from uh, lnt i requested he was heading the southern india for transportation cluster i requested him uh, if he's available he will join I'm just sending the message. If he sees the message, he definitely is going to join. And uh, apart from this, Amrut scheme is there, and uh, solar cities in each and every state are there. Uh, even in Tamil Nadu, there is in a uh, place called Kamudi. Adani is having a largest uh, uh, solar city. And um, in the, uh, Mr. Narendra Modi has committed the that uh, all the projects will be taken up, whatever required, in a sustainable way. And uh, we are uh, switching into alternate energies, renewable energy and all. So government focus is also on renewable energies like uh, solar and uh, wind power projects, a lot, many projects there. They want to come out of uh, this uh, thermal and other things and all. So, so many projects are happening. River linking is in pipeline, Sagarmala. This is connecting all the ports. So this is the map of high speed rail corridor. These are the future uh, projects which are coming up. Uh, high speed rail corridors, you can see uh, from Mumbai, they are going to connect with the Pune and then hyderabad this uh, feasibility study they have done so if you see this map you can understand there are enough opportunities to connect all the cities with the high speed rail corridors so in another 20 years government is going to spend a lot of money in constructing the uh, bullet train projects high speed rail corridors for that survey already is being done and this is a project of um, uh, dedicated and this corridor is only for the goods if you can see for fast transportations so they have connected uh, uh, the they have, have constructed a separate lines with uh, all the modern systems so that uh, the time is reduced drastically so this project is live presently and if you see north india only this project is done and they are going to connect with the south the southern part of the india also This is the proposed routes of various corridors. Being an agriculture country, we need faster transportation for export of the materials from one place to another. And even for international, we need a proper uh, dedicated corridor so that uh, uh, the materials reaches faster. 
if you see the newspaper you can easily understand and government website also you can track uh, this much of money 7 lakh crores of uh, investment is required for next 5 years only in developing the highways like this uh, they are going to double if you see the length of nh to be increased from 1.15 to 2 lakh it's a double whatever available they are going to be doubled so there are enough opportunities available and mechanization is happening in construction digitization is happening in construction so there are more opportunities to get the things in a faster way with the help of softwares with the help of digitization all these things So if you see uh, Sagarmala project is one of the project connecting all the ports with the proper infrastructure facilities, warehousing, roads, all these things so that uh, uh, the export and import can happen from uh, through the ports in a proper faster way. If you see a lot of private investment also is coming up, if you take Adani, they have taken so many ports in their control and they are doing excellent job of uh, helping the government for the handling of the goods in a larger way and even airports are under privatization lot of uh, to upkeep the airports uh, government needs uh, maintenance and as well as they need a good amount of money also to have international standards so they are tying up with various uh, companies uh, private people for developing the airports uh, GMR and uh, Adonis and so many companies are coming forward to set up the uh, airports in India with the help of uh, government. If you see best airports in India are managed by the private people and they are collecting the money through their tickets uh, means airport development free is co collected whenever you are getting traveled and apart from this retail is there. So, so many things are there for the revenue purpose and the, some of the projects uh, you can see in their website also where the projects are happening who is the contractor and what is the scope of the work uh, what is the volume of work what kind of a technology they are using so all these things available in their government websites if you see metro what is the proposed line uh, which where the execution is presently happening and where it is completed and what is the future and which are the companies are working if you go to their uh, respective websites you can find out and uh, chennai metro bangalore metro each and every metro is having their own website so you can go through and uh, understand what kind of a technology they are using what is the timelines what is the status all this information you can gather from their websites this is the metro which if you fully managed by lnt hyderabad metro Another uh, 10 years it may go. This started 10 years before this project. And uh, nowadays, a lot of data centers under construction, even in Chennai. Uh, LNT has signed an uh, agreement with the uh, Tamil Nadu government for setting up a data center near Kanchipura. And uh, apart from this, Adan is also constructing, even Berry's group, they are constructing a uh, data center near Gindi. So, so many data centers are going to come in India because the government's policy is clear. So, they want all the data centers to be in India only so that the data is stored properly and it is handled properly. So, civil engineering is nothing impossible. So, a lot of opportunities are available for the engineers. And uh, one more is a small slide I wanted to show you. Give me one second. Yeah. What is CMT, how it is helping the students, I'm going to share it to you. So, we rise by lifting others. We have a professional association with Indian Concrete Institute and IGBC and then ACCE. And we are a technical training partner for Lassen and Shubro, Naretko Karnataka, Sivanya Association of Tamil Nadu. Now, we are technical training 
partner for uh, construction companies like uh, Sri Ram Properties and so many organizations we are helping them. And uh, this is my profile you uh, could have heard from Vedavarshini. And I worked in various construction companies and uh, developer companies also. Uh, so I started my career with the JMC projects and I worked with HCC, LNT, Artha and so many construction companies worked. This is my professional certification. We started this uh, training uh, four years back. And we have trained nearly 10,000 plus engineers uh, in the practical aspects. Uh, our vision is to uplift the construction professional through structured training program and to improve the employability of construction professionals. Everyone is thinking about uh, placements, 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 and placements are very easy if you understand the uh, employer requirements. So that fine tuning we are doing, and we have placed uh, nearly 1,000 plus engineers in past three years across various companies by structured uh, training programs. Uh, these are few uh, association pictures from various organizations. And the companies regularly come to our uh, campus and they do the assessment and they give the employment letters and all. And the industry is supporting this initiative. We are taking the students to various programs and we are conducting at on campus and off campus also. Last year also few students uh, uh, done a program on green buildings so this year also we are expecting the students to take up the internships through online and offline also we are available if you are ready we can support with offline also through mr vignesh you can contact us these are the few appreciation letters from the companies a lot of companies are appreciating the cmts work means training the engineers across the projects due, uh, due to pandemic uh, lot of uh, the training little bit got affected now everything is resumed and uh, people are there in the projects in various projects uh, people are taking their trainings and uh, this is at volvo students uh, pictures in various projects uh, these are internship trainings offline internships these are uh, yeah, on campus trainings by various uh, experts from the industry. These are off campus trainings at the projects, and they are attending various seminars, webinars, all these things. And we are regularly conducting program on green buildings also. And uh, your college is also a member of Green Building Council. If you need any support on green buildings, we are going to help you and uh, we are going to give uh, education on green buildings through internship these are the few pictures industry is supporting nicely this uh, education the trainings and all we have a tie up with around 75 engineering colleges across india and we have trained nearly 10000 plus engineers these are the few MOU pictures at various institutions. We have tie up with SRM Chennai also. So many programs we are conducting, job oriented programs, career oriented programs at, uh, in our campus as well as online, we are available. We are helping the students on uh, selection of the project or selection of skill sets and uh, CV preparation and uh, how to attend the interviews, how to crack the interviews easily. And a placement assistance we are providing on and off campus and uh, guidance for the entrepreneurs if you want to start your entrepreneurship uh, what are the opportunities available various sectors uh, we are giving the an idea how to start your own company guidance for higher education we are providing and helping you on project site visits factory and industrial visits a lot of students from ssn srm the various colleges svc they regularly undergo training here recently of uh, students from Hindustan College, Coimbatore, Sona, and so many uh, students, they used to take the trainings uh, online or offline. Here are, uh, these are uh, at uh, various places. This is at Sona. This is a conference happened in Hyderabad. The people learned about the international, uh, international exposure they got about the green buildings. So many speakers from international level, they came here in Hyderabad. They, 
deliver the talks and they show in the projects these are few appreciation certificates we have a app you can download this app uh, cmt is uh, from the play store cmt is civil engineer connect you can find out this logo uh, cmta and you can download from the play store the coupon code for you to access the co uh, program is cmta svce i will drop through vigne mr vignesh you can get into that there are five programs i have enabled uh, as a that is the coupon code if you apply uh, the cost will come zero one is a uh, digital construction second one is green buildings uh, the third one is sketchup and then fourth one is site engineer program and the fifth one is msp these five programs are available for you once you are completed this is a self learning program only once you are completed we will provide you the internship certificates that certificates uh, you can utilize for your uh, value addition for your cv also you are uh, these programs are delivered by project management experts so you will have a idea about the, what is happening in the industry on that programs our all our self recorded programs nearly 30000 people already took the programs so i wish you also take the opportunity since we are uh, having an mou with the uh, svc we are giving the at free of cost so the coupon code is cmta svc here instead of d dsc you have to put svc actually this uh, program uh, delivered in the last week in some other college so i used here the same coupon code here you can use svc just give me one minute i will enable if you want you can take the screenshot yeah this uh, all these programs are available for you i request students to take a screenshot so that uh, you can, it can be used use the coupon code of cmta cvsc so that you will get a uh, the uh, at a free of cost all these programs and you will be getting a certificate like this this can be used uh, for your college submissions also uh, this kind of a certificate you uh, will be given by our team our uh, after completion of a program you can apply for that you can complete recently hindustan college students nearly 200 students have completed their internships here so karunya students they came offline only to bangalore they are available now they are taking their trainings in the projects so and you can refer your other college students also you will get a credits uh, with uh, everyone is having a unique code so if you refer your friends to uh, if they are getting installed you will get credits based uh, with your credits you can take some other program also there are uh, nearly 75 plus programs are available you can take any of the program with the credits presently i have given five programs to you so that you can take and if you have a, if you need any support you can call this numbers these two numbers or you can whatsapp this numbers 180 and 179 they will help you our uh, team will help you with this uh, i will conclude my talk if you need any support mm, or if you have any queries you can speak thank you thank you sir so participants if you have any